Silas, over here, guys. Over here. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you all for coming. Christmas begins with the book of Genesis. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and God saw everything that he made, and behold, it was very good. But then sin came into the beautiful world and ruined it. Humankind disobeyed God, and our relationship with God was broken. But God planned a gift for all humankind, a way to bring his children back to him. And this way is Christmas. God decided to send his son into the world, and he chose the people of Israel to pre prepare an earthly home for him. There shall come a star out of Jacob, he said, and a king shall rise out of Israel. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel, that mourns in lowly Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O God told his people through the prophet Isaiah about the Savior who was coming. Isaiah's words were, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Each year, some families have the tradition of opening one special gift the night before Christmas. Tonight, we will be opening a few gifts, with the greatest gift being opened last. Our first gift, Lexi. The first gift is Mary. God chose a young girl named Mary who lived in the town of Nazareth in Galilee to be the mother of his son. The next gift, Kyle. The second gift opened is an angel. The angel spoke these words to Mary. Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever, and his kingdom will never end. The third gift... is a man named Joseph. Joseph went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to the town of Bethlehem in Judea. He went to register with Mary, who was going to marry him. While they were in Bethlehem, the time came for her to have her baby. And our next gift, Silas. This gift is Jesus. Mary gave birth to her firstborn son, and she named him Jesus, just as the angel told her to. She wrapped him in cloths and laid him in the manger. Join with me. Away in the manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head.
Our next gift will be opened by Lucas. This gift is a shepherd. The Bible says the shepherds lived in fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks by night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger. So they hurried off and found Mary, Joseph, and the baby who was lying in a manger, just as they had been told. This is the last gift that we opened. Ashley. It is the best gift of all. The final and greatest gift of all is the cross. Jesus later died on the cross for the sins of mankind, making it possible for us to be restored in our relationship with God. On the night of Jesus' birth, not all the people of Bethlehem recognized what had happened. They did not understand that Jesus' arrival was the fulfillment of centuries of prophecies in which God promised that he would provide a way for us to be with him forever. And since that holy night, not everyone has accepted the great and mysterious gift given to mankind in the form of Jesus Christ through his birth and his death. Many have accepted, but many have rejected this gift of eternal life. They have refused to see that Jesus is the Son of the Most High, the blessed Redeemer, and the long-awaited Messiah, Savior of the world. His name, Jesus, means God saves, because he will save his people from their sins. There is still a great victory coming for those who believe in Jesus. And there is still time for you to turn to God by believing in who Jesus is and what he has done for each of us. It is the greatest gift of all. And yes, this gift belongs to all of us if we accept it. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive. sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing. Amen. <laughs> this concludes our live nativity. We invite you to join us for a brief reception of coffee, cookie, and hot chocolate through those doors there in the foyer of our church, where it's also warmer. If you would like to stay for our candlelight worship service, we will all be singing more carols at 7 p.m. in the sanctuary. Thank you for coming, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.